This is HKB, I'm Leon. I'm Shaz, and this is the channel where we go to Hong Kong and beyond. And we're covering yet another Japanese film today, which is why we're wearing our Japanese style t-shirts, super dry specials. But this time it's a release from Eureka. And we have recently emailed Eureka again. We're still waiting for some response from those guys. So if you hear us Eureka now, it'd be really nice if you said hello. And uh, we are massive fans of your releases, and today's we were particularly impressed mm. with, weren't we? What we, we got, Shaz? The Bullet Train. Oh, yeah. Now, this was fun. I mean, I enjoyed the more recent bullet train, but I've got to say, I think I preferred this one yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, I, I agree. I think this one felt, I don't know, really, really good. So good. Yes, I know. So good. It did, didn't it? Yeah, and you like can a proper film. It, it was a proper film. <laughs> and um, yeah, a lot, lot to sink your teeth into. Mm. And you can see where speed is taken mm -hmm. from this because you know in this film instead of a bus it's the train and if the train goes below i think is it 80 kilometers now then it will explode mm -hmm. difference is in this one we have sunny shiba driving the train and one of the main villains but he's kind of your protagonist really is ken takakura and um mm -hmm couple of iconic legendary Japanese actors and how good are they in this show? They were fantastic. The whole film was fantastic. Gripping, you know, tension all the way through. It was, wasn't it? And the director, we're not familiar with him, are we? Who is it? Junya Sato. So that might be a name we need to keep an eye open for because mm -hmm. he's done many more films like of this calibre than I want to see him. Yeah, definitely. I know it was a bit long. I know I've seen a lot of people have got issues with the length of this film and feel like it could be trimmed out. That seems like a really trendy thing to say. You know, people are always saying, oh yeah, but it could be shorter. Oh, it could well, be trimmed down. Yeah, maybe. I well, mean, maybe, but maybe you want the full length of enjoyment. Maybe you want to enjoy the entire film. Personally, I didn't find it over long. Um, I found it needed the whole length of the film to tell the story properly and to give it, you know, do it justice. I gotta say, I, I agree with you on this one. I, I guess so, a film over two hours long, for some people it, that is just too long no matter what film it is or how good it is. <laughs> we thought we struggled to find the time to fit it in, but we did fit it in. Mm -hmm. We were both very keen to watch it and we were both rewarded handsomely for the effort. So kudos to Eureka and um, fantastic film. Very high recommend from us again. Yes, and let's just have a little look at the release. So we have the slipcase. I like that. I'll do artwork. And then same sort of artwork on there. And then the inside. It's always nice when there's nothing blank there, isn't it? And you it can is. see. It is. I get very disappointed if it's blank. Whoop. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Fourth papers will be in the post. And then there's a nice little book which is always Please. good and yeah. the good thing with Eureka is they always tell you the way you should view the film as well. Yes. So we'll put a purchase link below. We hope you enjoyed this brief but brilliant video and we'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> Oh, my God.